One of the new features of Sputnik 2 is Sputnik Dashboard. Sputnik Dashboard is a mobile interface that offers an in-depth analysis and controls of your settings. The Sessions window shows you all of your devices hitting the Sputnik, whether it's a Bond 2 or Bond Pro, Link, or Cube in direct mode. You can choose which session you want to work with by clicking on the corresponding name. Stream Info offers a general view of the stream bitrate and overall data flow. Total data rate is the available bandwidth of all your bonded connections. Stream bitrate refers to the bitrate of your video feed. Also, under Video and Audio, you see buffer time and dropped frames of your video stream. Stream Uptime refers to the runtime of your video stream. In the Info and Settings window, you'll find a few tabs with info and settings of your device. This is the same information and options you will see when you log into your Bond configuration settings. By default, this is in a view only mode. However, once your Sputnik has been installed, you can disable view only mode in the Sputnik configuration file. By doing so, you'll be able to make changes via your Sputnik dashboard. This can be extremely useful if your encoder is behind a firewall or if your encoder is mobile in the field. The Info tab provides system data, including IP address and device name. Video audio, you see input methods, resolution, max bitrate, and audio bitrate. Streaming refers to the outbound settings of Sputnik. Here, we have MPEG transport stream enabled for clients to pull from. Like the configuration settings page, you can change the transport method. Bonding, these settings address your device sending to the Sputnik. Protocol, max bitrate, latency, and redundancy. Note, if you do make changes to your settings, this will refresh your device, meaning your stream will be interrupted. The connection health window analyzes the status of your connections. A grayed out port with an off status means that there is no USB connected to the port. A green good confirms that the connection performance is fulfilling the user settings. A suspended status means that the connection is not performing to meet the requirements of the settings, and that Bond has suspended the use of this modem, however, continues to check the port for improved connection. A red down status means that the connection does not have access to the public internet or is not providing data transfer. Again, Bond will continue to check the port for a valid connection. These status indicators are great tools for maintaining a solid mobile connection. If you hover over the information button, there are more details regarding its connection type and IP information. This is helpful if Bond is in the field and you need to identify modems or networks. Connection sharing offers a simple pie chart that shows you the usage of each connection. Bond is designed to load balance the connections and will optimize the use of the most stable connections. The connection status window analyzes the performance of each connection that is being bonded. With each port, you can see the amount of data passing through in kilobits per second, the delay in milliseconds, and late frames. The delay information of each port can help you determine max buffer length settings. The delay is calculated by the round trip time of sending data to Sputnik and back. Before going live, it's always good to watch the pattern of your internet connection, as you may see the delay and data rate fluctuate. Bitrate graph is a visual representation of the total data rate and stream bitrate. With this graph, we can analyze the patterns and performance of our bandwidth. You will most likely see a similar pattern where the stream bitrate line follows the total data rate. This reflects the responsive nature of the encoder adapting to the changing bitrate. When you see the stream bitrate higher than the total bitrate, your buffer is being depleted. Meanwhile, the encoder once again adapts for the video stream. There are a few options in the bitrate graph that give you more insight about your stream. Dropped frames can be identified at the exact time. Also, Duration controls the range of time you would like to analyze. For further or advanced technical support, check out support.teradec.com. For more information about Teradec, visit teradec.com.